Now, people living in Port Tampa are watching the clock tonight, and they're watching the water levels. They didn't need today's rain, but the bigger worry is what happens in about an hour during high tide. Now, this is what it looked like during the last major rain event. As you can see, flooding has been a big concern for this area. News Channel 8's Alessandra Young is there for us tonight, and residents on Juanita Street doing their best to prepare for this storm. So how did they fare today, and what are they saying, Alessandra? Good evening, Keith. Residents that I spoke with today say that they have been prepping for this rain for days because they are just so used to it flooding. And right now you can see it's pretty dry out, but residents tell me that that may not stay the case throughout tonight. When residents on Juanita Street look out their windows and see the rain, they know they're in for more than just a storm. It's starting. Like, I just start thinking, like, it's coming. I feel like it's um, that show that says winter is coming. Like, that's what I'm feeling. Oh, my gosh. Uh, except instead of winter is coming, I'm thinking the flood's coming, and we're going to become an island here very quickly. When the storms come, I don't sleep. I stay up all night, and I watch the water. So I know like when it's going into the garage so I can slowly still move those like last minute things. They tell me they prepare as if a hurricane's about to hit. Every time it rains and you know I feel like I'm driving myself crazy and I probably should uh, come up with a better plan but it's you know just double checking everything I've, I put low on the ground making sure it's lifted up. We don't even keep our cars at our house anymore because my husband lost his car during one of the storms. Trips to the store are made, cars get moved, and residents map out how much they'll shell out after any damages. It's like, okay, well, what do I like in my garage today? And you have to pick it up and move it if you want to keep it or you don't want water on it. It looks like a, an iceberg has melted and the whole neighborhood is just destroyed from the water. This is video of flooding from this past August all the way back to 2020. Neighbors say the issues started once construction began for a neighboring development and an area creek was turned into a road creek right here that the water would go to and travel, make its way back to the bay. Now it has nowhere to go, so it's coming into our homes and our driveways. I was out here last week and tried to get answers from the city of Tampa and the developers. A city spokesperson sent me another statement Tuesday. It says the stormwater division worked with Lennar years ago to make design changes and stop the flooding. And it's very likely recent flooding was caused by nature. The city has also reached back out to Lennar about the residents' concerns and are looking to see if meetings are needed to fix the problems. Now, I've reached out to Lennar and haven't heard back yet, and I'm going to keep in contact with the people living on this street as, like you said, Keith, we get closer to that high tide to see if they do experience flooding again. Live in Port Tampa, Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.